Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I decided to try and start recreating celebrity outfits. And I decided to start out with my good old bae, Selena Gomez. I feel like her style is what made me want to do this video in the first place and I'd like to do a lot more videos like this. So I basically thought I would pick a few of her outfits and sort of try and find similar clothing to recreate those outfits. But also with all the spare time I've had at the moment I was like, why not? Let's just try and recreate the photos as well to give it that like, extra challenge. And so yeah, I'm basically going to be recreating five of Selena Gomez's outfits that I've just sort of found on Pinterest and also recreating the photos to try and make them as similar as possible. So yeah, if you'd like to watch this video, then please carry on watching. I actually might move to the side <laughs> so that I can put photos over here. So this is the first photo that I'm gonna be recreating. I found this on Pinterest and I actually think it's a collage of two pictures, but I really liked it. So as you can see, she's sort of wearing like a baggy oversized t-shirt, some sort of like beige cargo trousers, some white trainers, a black bum bag, and some quite thick gold hoops. So I actually don't have the clothing pieces with me because I accidentally decided to send them back before filming the sit down video. Good job. But I thought it wouldn't matter too much because I'll just talk through the clothing pieces. First off for the white baggy t-shirt, um, this was £15 and I got it from ASOS. I basically was just sort of looking for like a plain white oversized t-shirt with some sort of like little design on it because you can tell that she's got there's some sort of graphics on there. And then I also got these sort of like beige, light brownish, uh, like cargo slouchy trousers. These were Bershka but also from ASOS and these were 19 99 And then lastly I got a black bum bag which was from ASOS, the brand Monkey, which was £15. And then for the rest of the outfit I just used my own white trainers which were Nikes and I also have some thick gold hoops which were from Urban Outfitters. And then I basically just tried to recreate her sort of hairstyle which was, it was like a little bit curly and then up in a ponytail. And yeah, so I did actually film clips of us trying to get the photo for each outfit. So I will like throughout this video insert some clips of us trying to get the outfit poses. But the final outcome was, ta-da! <laughs> um, I was actually really happy with this. This was the first one that we did. Obviously made sure it was quite sunny because in her photo it was super sunny. Tried to get similarish background and in the end, I thought this was quite good. I don't look as cute as her, but I mean, I don't think anyone can. I think I did well with what I had and it doesn't look too bad. I definitely felt like Selena Gomez when I put the outfit on. I did not feel like me whatsoever. I might give myself a, a nine out of 10 because I think honestly, A plus effort. <laughs> For this second outfit, this was probably the hardest one um, because of the lighting in the photo however so she's basically just got on this like yellow t-shirt light blue jeans and she's sort of like it looks sort of like evening and but she's got like a little bit of window light coming over her face but lots of shadows very awkward to get this photo and must admit <laughs> so first off i got this like sort of yellow neonish t-shirt from asos which was seven pounds and then for my light blue jeans, I just used the ones I'm wearing at the moment, which are Topshop and they're like the balloon style light blue jeans. But honestly, I think any light blue jeans would be fine for this picture. Made sure to have my hair down and quite curly. And then, yeah, then we tried to take this photo, which probably took, it was one of the longest that it took to get because we sort of had to use like lamps and stuff. We couldn't like the natural lighting we had was not giving us this effect. So yeah, give credit to, well, credit to my boyfriend for all of the photographing, photographing, photo taking, because I think they all came up pretty well to be fair and the lighting was not my idea, it was his idea. So it came out pretty well to be fair. Also, I feel like I keep adding in little like little bits. Um, each of these photos, I have edited a little bit on Photoshop to try and make it similar to her photo just so you know. And so this was the final photo. And honestly, I also think this was really good. I think so much of the positioning in the outfit looks on point. The only thing is like a bit in the face. I feel like the, the exact angle and expression isn't the exact same. I try to smile the way she is like squinting. She has like a weird squinting 
cute smile, which I cannot do. <laughs> but there you go. I tried my best. But there you go. I tried my absolute best. I think this photo, I give it like a seven and a half out of ten because I do think it's really good and the lighting is like spot on but there's just something not quite right to me and I think the other one was maybe a bit better. So for this next photo, I don't think this was the best out of all of them, simply because I could not find a dress that was like this. I ended up using like this floral maxi dress that I've bought from Urban Outfitters, which definitely does not look like her dress, but I mean, I tried to get something as similar as possible and yeah, and then I just wore my Nike white trainers. She's got like a book and she's using her phone in the photo, so did that as well. Yeah, I couldn't you I couldn't get a background like hers either, so I've just got a lot of nature behind me. But yeah, I feel like this one didn't take too long to get the photo, but it just doesn't look the exact same. So yeah, I also made sure to have my hair in like a little bun, the same as her as well, and this was the final photo. So as you can see, it really probably so far is the one that looks the least like hers, just because there's so much greenery in the picture and the dress is completely different. I feel like I was a bit harsh on myself in the last photo, because I feel like this one is worse than that one. Um, I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10, because like, I did really try with like the pose and the outfit and all the props and stuff, but it really just doesn't look the same. But I mean, I had fun doing all of these. I knew that a lot of them wouldn't look the exact same because I mean, I have a garden and a house to work with. I can't really just go anywhere to take these photos. Yeah, I had fun taking these. And even though hers are a lot better. <laughs> okay, so for this next photo, I love this outfit. I just think it's so cool. I would never wear it, but I mean, to be fair, most of these outfits, probably just the first outfit, I felt like it was too cool for me. I felt the same with this one. I felt like it was too cool for me. So she's got like this pink sweater, some like gray slouchy trousers, some black flats, some cool yellow sunglasses, and a red handbag was what I took away from that outfit. So first I found these gray sort of wide leg trousers from, so first I found these gray wide leg trousers from ASOS and these were 26 pounds. The red handbag was Lies and Lovers from ASOS, which was also 25 pounds. And then the pink jumper I found also on ASOS, which was £18.20. And I found some yellow top man sunglasses from ASOS for £12. And <laughs> I love this outfit. I wish I could have found more similar pieces. I definitely did well with what I could find. The outfit gives the same vibe, doesn't it? We found this one quite hard to do as well because we just couldn't get the right lighting. So I feel like in my photo, the sun is like, it's like, in front of me rather than behind me if that makes sense so there's a lot of shadows on my face whereas like she doesn't have any shadows on her face so there we go that is my photo one thing might i just say is this photo and this angle made me look really tall which i am not <laughs> i'm five foot four and this photo made me look hella tall so i'm grateful for that but um yeah so I obviously it's okay i feel like i got the pose right the outfit is okay I feel like the shadows kind of ruins it the most. Um, my hair is a bit curly, whereas hers isn't, but I couldn't really help that because I'd already curled it for one of her other photos to do. I don't know. I might give this like a seven out of 10. It's not too bad. It's not the best. I do really like this photo though of me. <laughs> I look really not like me. Like it doesn't look like me, but I mean, I look cool. I really wish I could wear things like this but also it's just a bit too much colour, I think. <laughs> I'll just leave looks like this to Selena. So for this last photo, this was probably the easiest outfit. I got it spot on, basically. She's basically just wearing like this white vest slash racer back with a pair of black dungarees and her hair sort of curled with like little bits pinned up on the sides. Yeah, so it was just about getting the pose, basically. So the white racer back I got uh, from Topshop and my black dungarees are also from Topshop, but I bought them about a year ago, but I mean, I think they always sell the black dungarees anyway. And then I decided to hold a book instead of the papers that she's got because I just thought it'd be easier and simpler. The thing I found hard about this is that she's reaching out for a car door. So I had to pretend to reach out for a car door, which was a bit awkward. But I mean, but you know, we, we tried our best. <laughs> and again, so this was the final outcome. And again, there's a lot more greenery than in hers. And that kind of ruined a lot of the pictures. However, the actual outfit and pose, I actually think is quite good. I'd probably give this like an eight out of 10. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe my face expression isn't the exact same, but I feel like the pose and the outfit I got pretty spot on. 
and I was quite happy with this photo. So there we go, those were the five Selena Gomez outfits that I recreated and try to recreate her sort of poses and photos as well. I had lots of fun doing this and actually it just makes me want to do more for like different celebrities or influencers because I really enjoyed doing it and really liked the outcomes. It was quite fun to do and like something different and creative for my channel. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment down below if you would like me to do more videos like this in the future. And also if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!